Good morning, world of readers! I am Book Dragon Erin, and I would like to welcome you all back to my booktube channel, where today I will be reviewing It Might Be Hot by Ariella Zoel. It Might Be Hot is a contemporary fiction MM romance. For those of you who don't know, this is a gay romance, and it is also book one in the Suntastic Fun series. And in that series, there are two books, so this is a duology, and those books include It Might Be Hot and Hotter Than Hot. Readers who read this book also enjoyed Blow Me Away by Billy Bloom, Filthy Sweet by R. Caden, Playing Offside by Jax Calder, and Taken by Chance by Isla Olson. Now, I haven't read any of these books before, but I will consider it. About a quick tagline. After another disappointing breakup, Lachlan is tired of dating the wrong women. Even though he's straight, his curiosity starts to get the better of him, so what would it be like to be with his gay best friend, Alessandro? In the point of view of Lachlan, I am sick of wasting time with women who love my money more than me. The only person who has ever cared about me, and not my fortune, is my flirtatious best friend, Alessandro. We always joke about me switching teams when I get bored with being straight, but lately, I have stopped laughing it off and started to seriously consider it. After a breakup with another gold-digging girlfriend, why shouldn't I cheer myself up by having a little bit of fun with Alessandro? After all, it might be hot, right? In the point of view of Alessandro now, I have always had to joke about my attraction to Lachlan because I know he'll never take my feelings actually seriously when I know that he is straight. But he shockingly asks me to show him what he's been missing when he has only been with women. This is my big chance to convince him that there could be more between us than just friendship. How can I say no if it will make my dreams come true? If Lachlan wants me to show him a good time, I am more than happy to teach him a lesson about why I can be more to him than the women who don't deserve him. But can I make him fall in love with me for real? Moving on to my thoughts about this book, the four best friends are Lachlan and Alessandro, Baxley and Callahan. Although it's a cool concept that both straight guys, Lachlan and Callahan, eventually fall for both gay guys, Alessandro and Baxley, that's actually a bit of a stretch. I mean, what are the odds of that actually happening? It doesn't seem all that realistic, but that's just me. Don't get me wrong, I love a well-written LGBTQ novel, but this book wasn't at the top of my list for favorite gay romances, and as far as my favorite LGBTQ novels go, they include If I Was Your Girl by Meredith Russo, which is the best transgender romance I have ever read, Anyone But Her by Erica Lee, my favorite lesbian romance, and The Devil by Ashley Jade, which is by far my favorite bisexual romance. If I'm being perfectly honest here, it was hard for me to keep the characters straight, even though it was only for hot-as-heck male characters. One of my friends on Goodreads, who is named Maddie, said this book was an all-around cute and fast read, not much on plot or character development but still entertaining and steamy as heck. While I agree that this novel was a fast read, and while I agree there wasn't much of a plot or even swift character development, and while this novel was without a doubt steamy, I didn't totally enjoy this novel as much as I would have with, say, a lesbian love story. All in all, I'm happy that Lachlan and Alessandro got the happily ever after that they both deserved, but I still will say that this novel wasn't my favorite gay romance compared to others that I have read in the past. Where gay romances are concerned, Fawn by Nash Summers is awesome, but this book in comparison just didn't live up to my expectations, you know what I mean? As far as ratings go, Amazon rates this book 4.3 out of 5 stars, Goodreads rates this book 3.7 out of 5 stars, and I'm sorry, but my rating for this book was a 1 out of 5 stars rating. 
my Amazon slash Goodreads review. Sorry, but this book just wasn't my cup of tea. Don't get me wrong, I enjoy a well-written LGBTQ novel like If I Was Your Girl by Meredith Russo or Fawn by Nash Summers, but this one wasn't my favorite by a long shot. I'm happy that other people enjoy this novel, but I don't place this novel too high on my read again soon sort of list. So my apologies to the author for not being so entertained. This novel just wasn't for me. Everyone has their taste in books. Mine just wasn't this book. Anyway, that is all for today. So if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button to show some support. Subscribe to my booktube channel to get more videos like this. Turn on that notification button to be notified when I upload brand new videos every single Sunday. Keep on reading and have a great day everyone!